All right, I've got a little build update here, kind of unplanned, but Fury Tech has a new uh, BEC out. So this should be plug and play to either the Lizard or the Tegu. So with this guy being so heavy and having two servos and these big tires, a lot of width, so a lot of wheel scrub, I noticed uh, running it that I would, it was having, even with an Emax servo in the front and a fake Emax servo in the back, it was having just some issues, uh, you know, binding up. Um, so hopefully maybe this BEC is going to give it a little more juice. Um, right now this is a Lizard, so it's got a smaller BEC than the Tegu. Um, so anyways, I'm going to pop this in and put a battery in it and let's see if there's any difference here. And uh, I guess first things, let me get this guy popped open here. And here we go. So this basically will go in line from your battery. And then this goes over to your receiver. So in line from your battery to your ESC and then this goes to the receiver. To any free auxiliary channel. And luckily I've got multiples on this guy, so um, let's see. I'm going to pause this, get the battery in. All right, I got this BC put in, and then my fly sky was beeping at me, so I had to charge my battery for the radio. So let me get that plugged in. Like I say, this is what it comes with. It is, I mean, just straight plug and play between the battery. Um, so as soon as you plug the battery in, the receiver's powered. And then you still have to hit the button to turn on the lizard if you have it set up, you know, for the button to be the thing that turns it on. Okay, here we go. So here it is right here on the side. It's actually this unit. So I'm um, I've got its battery connection here, and here's the battery, so let's see if I can plug it in and close the top. So like I said, that just powered on, twitched the wheels through the receiver. So now the lizard's on. So let me see if I can tuck this down away from the motor. Tuck that down. Tell you what, I got a lot of wires in here. I'm gonna have to come back with some kind of some kind of wire management with this added piece to get all this to fit in a little bit better. All right, there we go. So let's see. pretty good. Um, it may not look like it's turning a lot, but I've got the endpoints pulled back um, just for rub on compression with the body. And because I've got four wheel steer, um, let me pick it up and see if that makes a difference. Yeah, so you can see the rear, I don't have it turning a ton. Let's see if I can, kind of, man, this, this thing is heavy. How to get so much weight on it? So let's see here. Now I'm crushing my fingers. So the front should have a little more turning, and it does than the rear. So, anyways, I'm gonna take it out on the course and see if I can't get a little uh, real-world testing with this guy. All right, we're going to go straight to one of the tougher challenges back here and just give you a perspective. This is a pretty difficult climb. Um, my other two Jeeps are a little too, uh, a little too fat, rear heavy to make this, although this guy can make it. And then this one is my other uh, trickier climb right here. Uh, Anyways, I'm going to set this up on a tripod and see if I can take it. 
All right, let's see if we can take this now. Let's so find a point of approach here. I've tried this angle. Get up on that crazy slick rock. Gonna make it that way. Servo seems to be doing great in BC. No, no good. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There it is. No problem with those servos, man. They are kicking. Not getting hung up on these rocks. Nice. Alright, very impressed with that. Once I finally got up and over. Let's see if we can do it coming back. Front diff hung up. Ah. Give you a little different angle here. Get started somehow. Is that it right there? No. Hey, what? This mulch is loose. It's put you at a disadvantage. There we go. Get up. Get up. Get up right there. Hold. Hold. Oh, toast. like a worm. Ooh boy. Toast. Oh, look at that. What a good landing. Look at that. That's how you do wheelies, buddy. Right there. Alright, let's let's try this other one over here. When you get hung up on the dip, come on, there we go. So we can go backwards.
to get that back tire up. Come in further. There it is. Come on. Oh, come on. There it is. There it is. That's the way to debate. Boom. All right, let's take the crack. All right, this is the challenge not to totally tear up the side of the vehicle on this rock. You got to get your driver's side tire to get you up on that rock. You kind of straddle and then you slide in. Then you catch and then you dig. And you let your sliders carry you around and look at that. No scratches. Then go back. Yeah, boy, look at that flex. And squeeze through. And you got a surpass motor. Get you twisted. Look at that. That's some BEC right there. Boom. I'm telling you, those sliders come in handy. Try my next favorite little obstacle here. Oh, are you going to crawl this? Or are you going to get high centered? Oh, crawled it. Got the high clearance link. Look at this. Oh, look at that. Boom, no problem. See if I can get up all these slick rocks. Boom. You can just get a little grip on them. And you can get going. Uh, oh. All right, so far I gotta say I'm happy with this BC. I've not jammed up either front or rear yet. And I've got a lot of little crevices out here. It's really easy to get a wheel stuck. I want to do this crawl again, different angle here. Get that little bit of grip on the slick rod. Oh, yeah. Flip it. No, I'm not going to flip it. I'm going to wiggle it up there. Man, those freaking tires grip once you get them going. It's almost like they do better the slower you go. There you have it, guys. That's the BEC with a little, little outdoor test run. So, if you're thinking about getting this upgrade and you have $15, then you can do it. Alright, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Woo!